Hey guys, in this video, we are gonna take another look at LFO tool, but this time we're gonna have a look at it in the context of it being a Dynamics processor. Uh, I know we usually use it for ducking and filtering, that kind of thing, but you can use it as a kind of um, pretend compressor as well. It's quite useful for that because it gives good visual feedback. So let's have a look at that now. Hi there. So today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite plugins, LFO tool once again, and we're going to use it as a kind of stand in dynamics processor. Um, so what I've done is I've just entered the simplest beginning to a track ever. <clears throat> and that's just a four on the floor kick from kick two. Let me just turn LFO tool off actually. that's it so i've put lfo tool on the same channel and there's a couple of important things we need to do here let me just open this up so it's easier to see get rid of kick we don't need that anymore so the two things we need to do are set the rate or the resolution to quarter note so what that means is this screen is going to update at the same rate as the kick is playing you might if i play you might actually see a little blue line going across the ui i'm going to point here but you can't see what i'm pointing at uh, a little blue line going across the UI as the kick plays. No, you can't see it. Ignore me. Um, so we need to set that to quarter rate. And the other thing we need to do is it's it's quite well hidden. Actually, I need to turn it on, then you might see it. Yeah, you can just see it. See, I'm good at this and practice this. Um, the other thing you need to do is set the display, the waveform display to on. It's not obvious what this does. Um, unless you read the manual. Um, and what that'll do is it'll update the central display to show the incoming audio waveform. So thus. So it's updating this display once every quarter note, just to give you an idea, if I change this to eighth note, we're only gonna get half the kick. And if I change it to half note, it's gonna show us two kicks per screen refresh kind of thing. So let's keep it on quarter note. And then what we can do is we can just use LFO, LFO tool in the standard way. So if I do something like this, the kick is going to effectively be ducked each time it hits. Which is completely useless. Well, it's not, but it is. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to add an extra node here. And what this will allow us to do is it's... it's automating the volume each time the kick hits, right? And this is, it, it's kind of what a compressor does. So this will be your attack curve. The speed at which volume is reduced is here. So this is time across this axis. So the faster your attack, the clickier your transient is gonna be. But not only can you change this attack with LFO tool, you can change the curve as well. So you can get it really clicky. Um, so this is your attack time. You don't really have the equivalent of a threshold, so to speak, but this will be your ratio. The amount at which the kick is reduced in volume will be this axis. So this is your ratio, how much of the volume is reduced. So think of it that way. But I find that sometimes I find this a much more visual way of, of, of getting to grips with what a compressor is doing. Um, and you might find it useful as well, but it gives you a lot of control over the complete dynamic shape of, in this case, a kick drum. You can use it on anything. Um, and this curve here is like your release, how quickly the volume recovers back again. So you can use LFO tool to act like a compressor or even um, you get the transient designing plugins that, that, that allow you to dial in or out a transient and we'll, we'll dial it out as well in a second so you really can shape see that's a much clickier kick let me just disable lfo tool yeah so it's, it's pulling away a lot of the tail but you can do it the other way around as well you know if you're using a transient designer you can oh, i don't want that node you can soften up the transient you can do it the other way around really em 
emphasize the body. You know, if you're layering kicks, you might not want the transient from this one. You might be laying it with another one, in which case pulling it out is the best option. So yeah, nice quick video, but LFO tool, endlessly useful plugin, endlessly useful. Uh, can be used as a, a pretend compressor stroke transient designer. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate all the support from you guys. If you love this video, then smash a like. And if you want to be notified about new videos, hit the subscribe and notification buttons. Peace.